Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Make a Card Monday video. Today I'm using this stamp set called Blocked Greetings. It's one that I designed for Simon Says Stamp. And it also has a coordinating die set called Greeting Blocks. And I'm going to be creating a four panel birthday card today. So I'm starting out by creating the card base. And I'll be honest, as I was working on this card, at this point I thought it was just going to be a three panel card. So I have some cardstock here. I'm scoring it at three and a half. And then I'm sliding over that score mark over to the edge and then scoring it at three and a half again. So basically it was at three and a half and then at seven. And now I'm going to fold the card. And I decided to make it basically three and a half wide by five tall. So I did end up cutting off a little bit off that side after I used my bone folder to really press down all of those folds. So I'm just gonna take off a little bit off that side. And now I have the basic size of the card, but eventually I will add one more panel to it. So my idea was I would have the very front of the card have these rectangles die cut out, and then the panel just inside would have stamping. So I'm going to size the, make sure the dies are the right ones for the stamps I want, and then arrange them over on this far panel. That panel on the right is actually the front of the card when it's all folded together. So I'm just putting these dies on here and I'm holding them down with a little bit of post-it tape just to make sure that they don't slide around while I die cut them. So I put that through my die cutting machine and now I have these windows that are cut out of the front panel of the card. So I'm going to fold the card up to make sure that it's the right way that I want it. And then while it's closed, I'm going to take a pencil and just lightly trace around the inside of those windows. This is going to give me a guide for where I'm going to be stamping. So the stamping is going to be in three different colors at the beginning here. The first color I'm using is Soft Cantaloupe, and I'm going to stamp the You Are the Best stamp. And after I have that one stamped down right inside that pencil rectangle or square, I'm going to move on to Butter Bar Ink, and I'm going to stamp the Smile stamp. All three of these inks are from Hero Arts. And then the third sentiment I want to to put on here was happy birthday. I'm using Tide Pool shadow ink from Hero Arts. And then I took some fog ink from Simon Says Stamp and I used some of the other stamps in that stamp set to just kind of fill out the pattern. So I took this awesome stamp right here and once again using fog ink from Simon Says Stamp and I just masked off a little bit so it wouldn't go off to the side. Just used a sticky note for that. I also stamped the joy and also sweet. All of these kind of go together. I think you could definitely have them all on the same card. I then took my pencil and erased all of those pencil lines. Those were the ones that I used for guiding me to make sure I stamped in the right spot. And then I decided to add a fourth panel. I did this because I wanted the area just to the right of all the stamping to have the greeting area or the sentiment area where I would write a greeting to the recipient of this card. And I didn't want that to be on the outside when it was all folded together. So now I have that other panel which is going to protect the inside where that message will be written. And I'm also going to take some fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and just coat, cover that panel right there. That gray panel is where you would write a message to the card recipient. And then I took some pattern paper and adhered that to the far panel. And this panel on the end is actually going to have a gift card holder there. I decided since I have a fourth panel, I might as well use it. So I'm going to be creating an envelope that goes on that fourth panel and then put a gift card inside. So I'm using Simon Says Stamps gift card envelope die. And I'm also using some vellum cardstock. This is the 40 pound vellum from Basil. And I'm just going to run that through my Big Shot machine and it's going to cut out the perfect envelope to put on that fourth panel of my card. So uh, using the score marks, I folded down the, at the flaps of the envelope, and then I'm going to use some Tombow Extreme Adhesive to adhere the envelope closed. I really like to use this for vellum. You can see through it, and it, you, it does show on the vellum, but it's a very solid adhesive, and it doesn't look out of place or weird. If you've ever seen actual vellum envelopes, you can see where they're glued together. So I'll fold up that bottom flap, and now I'll add two lines of adhesive to the back of the envelope, 
and this is going to go directly onto that fourth panel of the card. So I'll just go ahead and press that down. And I have a Starbucks gift card, which is a standard size gift card. I'm just going to slide it inside that envelope. And then I can fold up this card and everything is protected. I also thought it would be kind of nice to add some string to keep everything closed. So I'm using some black and white Baker's twine and just I just wrapped it around each direction and then tied a bow in the center. And this kind of makes it almost like a little package. I think you could definitely send this in the mail. You might want to use a bubble mailer or even one of those cardboard mailers. I don't know that an envelope would work since this is quite thick, but you could definitely send it through the mail for a fun little birthday package for your friends or family. So I'm going to untie this just so you can get kind of the idea of what the recipient would see and just unfold, 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 and there'd be a message on that gray panel there in the middle. Hope you guys enjoyed this card idea today. I will be back on Wednesday for a Color Wednesday video. And until then, thanks for watching. Just want to remind you all that all of the supplies used in today's card video are listed down below in the video description or over at my blog at kwarnerdesign.com. If you click on that link up in the top corner of the video right now, it will take you directly to today's blog post. On screen are three more card videos for you to check out. They're my most recent cards, so I hope you'll click on those and get a bit more card inspiration. You can visit me on social media at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And thank you again for watching. I will catch you guys next time.